All right, so what's going on, man? YouTube, check it out, man. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which YouTube channel I'm doing this for. That's kind of crazy to know, especially too when you can't edit your video. But besides that, let's start it off. If you are a Los Angeles Lakers fan of right now, you should be pretty mad and upset at Lakers management. I mean, actually, you can't blame the management. Well, actually, you can partly. It's just that if you think about it, if you're the Lakers, man, you got LeBron James. You're thinking to yourself, at least the playoffs, at least. Like I said, 50 wins prediction. Going to the playoffs. And the point is, even though the Lakers, what is it, five games out of the playoffs, they still got a chance to make the playoffs. It's just LeBron James need to turn on his uh, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, and say, hey, I'm going to lead this team to the playoffs. The only problem is him doing that. It, I don't think it, that his agent, plus, like I said, he's in good shape, so he should be able to. I mean, to carry this team to the playoffs, man, just to do that. Because if he doesn't make the playoffs, you know, this is just... I mean, like I said, for some people, they said, does it hurt his legacy? I don't know. Fans, do you hear stories on fans of L.A., like what you hear on, you know, like other media channels about, you know, the Lakers fan in general. But obviously, they should be pissed off that their team doesn't even make the playoffs. LeBron James can still carry his team to the playoffs, and hopefully he does carry his team to the playoffs. Because if he doesn't, that would be a disappointing season. Him making the playoffs is a disappointing period. You know, you're considered the best player in the world. Just take your team to the playoffs. I mean, obviously, they will not beat Golden State. Or I don't think, actually, even if they were to make the playoffs, I really don't think they're going to win in the first round. It's a possibility. I mean, LeBron James could probably do it by himself, but it's just, I don't know, man. It's just it's just weird, you know, just to know LeBron's legacy of him being labeled as the greatest player ever. Me, personally, I don't think he's the greatest player ever. I just believe he is the greatest small forward of all time, in my opinion, of what I've seen. Because, you know, it's hard. To rate players, I mean, you think about your age and you think about when you really started watching basketball. I'm thinking in my head, man, you know, it's hard to compare them to, like, they say the greats of the Lakers. I mean, for me personally, when I started watching basketball in general, the NBA, man, I, I, I was basically watching the downside of Larry Bird's career, the downside of Magic Johnson's career. So in my personal opinion of me watching them, like you said, the eyeball test, I didn't think they were great players. I know everybody's going to argue, yeah, they were probably one of the greatest players of all time or in the list of greatest players of all time at the time. But like I said, in that decade. So besides that, man, if you are a Lakers fan, you should be pissed that the Lakers will not make the playoffs. Or if you're fans of LeBron's legacy, maybe it's better they don't make the playoffs. Because if he does get to the playoffs and lose in the playoffs, then that's that one uh, minus checkmark, the ideal argument debate of Michael Jordan where, oh, yeah, you know, uh, LeBron James team has never uh, lost in the first round. Hey, if this Lakers team make it to the first round or actually makes the playoffs this year, they will probably lose in the first round. So... Maybe maybe it's best that LeBron doesn't make the playoffs. Now, take that back. If you're a fan of basketball, let's be honest, you would like to see the Los Angeles Lakers. You would like to see LeBron James making the playoffs. And especially to, for some of us other basketball fans who are scratching our heads that why did uh, LeBron James, after eight straight NBA Finals, decide to come to the Lakers? I mean, it's weird because everybody can debate why he went to the Lakers. I mean, was it because it's Hollywood? Did he want to bring back a rising franchise? I mean, like, a, like they said, man, to go to L.A. and to have a guy like Kobe Bryant, which you probably, in your opinion, should be better than Kobe Bryant. But the thing about it is, you know, it's it's weird to know. But besides that, man, like, comment, subscribe. We out of here. YouTube, we out.